What's up everyone, my name is SD Mike, and today we're going to be talking about epoxy.tv. And if you can't already tell, I'm standing today because I really don't feel like sitting down anymore, so hopefully it looks alright, and if it doesn't, I'm sorry, can't really fix it now. So when I heard that Freedom offers a free subscription to epoxy.tv, I got so excited because I've heard nothing but good things about this service. So if you're partnered with Freedom and haven't already done so, make sure you go sign up with epoxy.tv if you like this video. Now my favorite thing about being a creator is by far the community. I love being able to interact with my viewers and get in instant feedback on my videos when I upload them. It really helps bridge that gap between a creator and a viewer. While I try my best to respond and be engaged on all platforms, but the fact of the matter is I manage three Facebook pages, three Twitters, two Instagrams, three YouTube channels, and create content for freedom. So it's really hard to keep up with everything since I'm spread so thin. Well, this is where Epoxy comes in. Now, I'm not saying you have to have a ton of social medias to use this. You can even use it if you have just a YouTube channel, but I recommend anyone who's into YouTube to at least have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. But that's a different video. Back to Epoxy. Epoxy is a website or a phone app, so you can use it on the go as well. After signing up with Epoxy, you can connect your social medias of choice and track it. Not only does it track it, but it allows you to read, respond, and filter out comments on all platforms. So let's take YouTube for example. Once you click YouTube, you have four tab options. Fan comments, your videos, audience, and insights. So let's start with fan comments. Epoxy organizes your comments by the time of the comment, so you can respond to your latest comments no matter the video. Now let's say you get tons of comments and you're curious as to who's watching your videos. You can drag the slider up and filter out your viewers by a subscriber count. Now you can see the top subscribed channels who are commenting on your videos. Now these would be good people to talk to about having a collaboration with because they're the people that are going to help grow your channel. Just saying. Next tab is your videos. You can organize your videos here by views, likes, and comments to see which videos are the most engaging. This can help you to decide on what you need to make more of. And apparently, if I want the most engagement, I need my car to break down more. Now if you click on the video, you can see all the comments on said video and respond right from here. Next is the audience tab. This shows you your viewers who comment on your videos. You can organize them by subscribers or comments to see who's the most engaged on your videos. And lastly, insights. This shows you your growth in the past week and shows how much you've grown in that said time frame. Now you can do this for all social medias. It gives you full insights on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can respond to all the comments from all platforms just from the site or from the phone app. No reason to open up each and every website and have to go to each one to respond to it or go to Instagram on your phone to respond to comments. You can do it all right from this platform or right from the phone app. It's so nice and so convenient. Now there's one other tab worth going over, the share tab. By going to the share tab, you can do the typical sharing or scheduling text posts, photos, videos to your social medias. But Epoxy allows you to do more. Epoxy allows you to share video clips, memes, or GIFs to your social medias. And here's how it works. You select a video and then click create a clip. You watch your video and find the clip that you want to share. Then click and hold the record button and record that section. Once you're happy with it, hit save. Now you can share that clip to your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Vine. Now you can use this to promote your videos further on other social medias. This way you're not showing the full video on these social medias. Instead you show a small little snippet that makes the viewer want to see more and then they'll go back to your video to see the rest. Now I found this feature pretty cool and it saved a lot of time for me. Not only that, but now I'm going to start using Vine. Otherwise I probably wouldn't use it because I'm not going to take the time to to frame up my clips and export them in the correct size and then upload my phone and then blah 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 just to post it to Vine. Now memes work the same way. You find a frame that you want to meme, save it, plug in your text and export the image. And lastly your GIFs. Simply record a section of the video that you want and export it as a GIF that you can share on your social medias. But anyways guys that's it for me today. I hope this helps some of you. If you have any questions be sure to leave it down in the comments below. And if you want to see any more of my tips and tricks you can click the link in the sidebar. Or if you want to see more of me, my daily vlogs, my dogs, or even my game channel you can click the links down in the description below or the cards at the top. But anyways guys that's it and we'll see you next week. See ya! Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.